Bienvenidos mises, regresé con otro video. Es tu favorita morenita y regresé con otro video. I don't know if you guys heard or something, but our good sis Laura Mercier then came out with a new shade, y'all. Not only did Laura give us the medium to deep translucent loose setting powder, they went off some more and now they came out with their new shade, their new translucent loose setting powder in the color honey. Oh, look at how it just looks on the white. Oh, she's fresh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. If you guys know anything about your morenita, you know, I've really prayed hard that baking and setting powders and all that stuff wasn't just a trend. It is here to stay. And that is why today's video, your girl partnered up with Laura Mercier to bring to you the tea, the honey. Okay, not even the tea, today we're bringing the honey. I don't know if you guys can tell, this is a demo set, okay? Cause it's about to get real. Sleeves off, it's about to get real. First of all, I love me some Laura, okay? Laura and me go, and I go way back. I mean, look at all my old videos, I called her Laura. I always say, Laura, thank you so much. So when I got on PR, it really made it like a full circle momento para me because I bought Laura all the time. I love banana powders. I mean, I feel like it's the perfect shade that complements many complexions, especially morenitas and morenitos. It's like the perfect golden ooh, momento, whether you want to put it under your eyes, if you want to enhance your contour. Para lo que no hablan en inglés, si tú quieres iluminar abajo los ojos, me encanta el banana powder. Listen, as a chica who loves banana powder, I was so excited when Laura Mercier came out with their new shade, Honey, because I didn't even think about it. it was the only thing that was missing oh my goodness i am so excited because listen if you guys know your girl i love me some huda setting powder okay some fancy okay so y'all already know i don't play when it comes to my banana powders okay laura laura stop playing with me i'm honestly not even stressed because i feel like when i think laura say i think translucent powders period like who started it Laura. Uh, if you guys agree, comment down below because it's not even a lie, like, period. Uh, anyways, if you guys are excited to see this demonstration, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, y vamos a comenzar. Before anything, let me just let y'all know what's going on con la cara. For my face, I want to get a little closer, you guys can see, it's still glossy. All right, I did not put any setting powder. I didn't even set my contour. I just like use my concealer stick, but my skin is completely still wet. Like there's nothing, there's no powder. Anyways, <laughs> so let's go in. So this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. She's gorgeous, hold on. So here are a few facts about the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. It's gonna give us a 16 hour matte finish, weightless texture. Ooh, this one is interesting. This is also going to be tr true color wear, so it's not going to oxidize and kind of like ruin our concealer or our under eye makeup. If you are medium tone, it actually can even be used as a powder all over. So that's really good to know if you are someone who wants to use it like how I use the medium uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. You could use this one and it won't oxidize. And the one I'm sure you guys are all excited to hear about, no flash bizzack. Okay, so listen, I'm excited. We have now the translucent, honey, and medium deep. Let's jump right in. Yes. All right, so first impressions. Oh, she's fresh. Okay, so I'm just gonna twist her and I'm just gonna, oh, 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 oh. Oh, all right. First, y'all, y'all don't understand. I think this is going to be absolutely stunning. I'm trying to like make sure y'all see, because the white on, on the light is really, hold on. I'm just gonna take my ring finger like that. Yes. I've never really swatched a translucent powder, but just because we're demoing, can we just get into how gorgeous, look at that, look at that. It just disappears. So you know what that tells me? No white cast, okay? Look at that, it literally disappears. And it feels so fine. I don't feel any grainy texture. The formula feels extremely lightweight. Like, I'm over here like, what? It feels so soft, you guys. I'm like, I've never really swatched. Again, it's my first demo. So this is pretty interesting because I'm like, have we ever swatched? loose powders before 
but I don't know why not, because this feels soft. What I also love about this formula is, you guys, it's gonna give you that beautiful natural matte finish with a of sheer. So you want that because I'm not sure about you guys, but I've been leaning more towards letting my natural oils come through. And I find that when you really lock it in, it's like you look a more Come on, okay? So with the sheerness, it's gonna bring some life to your skin. It's gonna give you a little bit of that shine when it hits the light. Do you guys like that? Okay, because if you like that, that's perfect. If you didn't know, Laura Mercier actually has a technique on how to apply loose setting powders. And for today's demo, I'm going to attempt to do it the same way they do it because they make it look so easy. So I'm like, I wanna try. So first things first, you wanna go in and take your Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the shade Honey. And I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go like this. As you can see, we have it here. You wanna take your Laura Mercier Velour Puff. I love this. If you guys need a puff that is going to mattify your makeup without even applying product throughout the day, baby, lo que tu, que tu ta esperando, this Velour Puff, I have one in every bag, <laughs> okay? Don't judge me. I find that it just seals and I don't know what is made out of this Velour Puff, Laura. But the way y'all manage to still Touch up my makeup without putting product on to, throughout the day. If you guys haven't used this, I'm not sure what you're waiting for, but thank me later. If you have, comment down below and let me know what time it is because I'm sure y'all know what time it is. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna take your Velour Puff. So you wanna fold it like a taco. Yeah. <laughs> and I've already applied my powder. You wanna prepare your Velour Puff. Okay. And you wanna saturate it with all the powder. So I'm just gonna like blend it in. You see, I'm like rubbing it in. All right, the moment we have all been waiting for, lo fuimo. I'm just gonna go in. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, okay. I was gonna go in and set my other. Oh, okay, I'm so excited right now, okay. What I love about Laura Mercier's translucent loose setting powder in the shade Honey is this baby has a peach undertone. It's still going to highlight and bring the skin to life like no other, just take a look. And you just kinda wanna like pat it in. You guys, this application right now, again, I'm just like working it in and I'm just gonna go where I get oily. And I'm literally doing like a, I'm not, I'm not like that, but like they're, they do it so cool and so seamless, but like, it's just like they press it into the skin. Look at, do you see how it immediately like gave me a whoo, okay? I'm just gonna go back in. And again, I'm just step like, I see. I'm gonna go in the areas where, where I get oily, cause your girl gets super oily. I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just going to wipe off where I contour. I'm already like, Okay, next I'm gonna go in and dust off la cara. Wow. Oh my goodness. Y esta belleza, explícame. So what I'm loving already is the face does not look cakey at all. I mean, Especially with the taco method, I'm loving that. I've actually never tried it. It's my first time doing it like that. And I'm actually not mad at it because it almost applies the setting powder on top of it. And with that kind of like motion where you like press into the skin, me encantó. Me encantó means I loved it because it's like you're setting your under eye as opposed to baking. Does that make sense? Like baking, you're like do, 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 do. And this literally goes into the pores looks stunning how do you guys feel so far i really love how lightweight it feels my pores look non-existent huh 
How do you guys think? I think it looks so pretty. Like, look at the way it brightens under my eye. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Although I love a bright under eye, unfortunately, because it's not as fine and as soft as the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and in this particular case, it's the Honey Shade, um, other banana powders uh, are thicker. I don't know if you guys, y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, you, you kind of see and you feel feel the powder this one you don't feel it it almost like becomes i don't even know how to explain it. it's just so mince it's so soft you look poreless because it really goes into your pores makes you look flawless really makes you have that even texture that's the word i was looking for it gives you a softness so you guys i don't know about you guys but i am so impressed so if you ask me does Laura Mercier live up to being the number one top setting powder? Listen, I'm over here like, not just because this is sponsored, but uh, baby, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when I do have a setting powder, we do have to go back in and set it with some more powders just to really reassure that we don't have any white cast. I think it's really important for me as a morenita to not be on these streets with a white cast. Um, but you guys, I did not apply any other powder under my eyes. I left it as is. Again, I love bright under eyes. I think it just really brings the makeup forward. Today's look is very minimal, granted, because I really wanted it to be about the face today, but it just looks so gorgeous. And again, using the Velour Puff today was really new for me, but extremely doable, but I see why it is so ideal to set under your eye with this baby. It just really sets it in the pores. And you wanna do it delicadita, which means really delicately. <laughs> but again, what do you guys think? I'm over here like, first of all, what? I'm really excited about this under eye. I'm really excited about this under eye. We are softened, we are blurred, we are face tuned in real life. I have no pores, and let me tell you something. I do. So if you are someone who has large pores, a little problematic skin, I would even suggest if you are lighter than me to use this all over and just set the face. Again, how I use it with the medium deep uh, setting powder shade for Laura Mercier, I think it would be perfect to really set the makeup and even like fill in those pores and fine lines to give you that flawless finish. The coverage is really light, so you don't have to worry about it feeling too heavy or cakey. I absolutely love that. And this product is actually pretty ideal for all skin types. So if you have normal, dry combination or oily skin, this powder is para ti. I'm giving it a 10 for sure. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you comment down below what you were saying. Let me know, are you opening up your wallets or not? And again, shout out to Laura Mercier for partnering up with your girl. I am so excited that I was able to demo their new translucent loose setting powder in their new shade Honey because I mean, it's everything I didn't know I needed. So I'm excited. You'll be seeing me use this shade quite often because you know your girl don't play when it comes to banana powders. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y lo veo en mi próximo video. Mwah. Adios.